is for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Go pal pal back in the house. Introducing first, representing the Beatdown Clan, MVP. MVP obviously not alone. I don't think anyone expected MVP to be alone for this main event match. Kenny King on the left, low key on the far right, Samoa Joe in the middle, and MVP is all set. MVP feels that he created Lashley, that he made Lashley TNA World Heavyweight Champion, that Lashley owes MVP something. Well, I'll tell you this right now, you gotta be careful. If you're Lashley, you can't look past someone like, someone like MVP. Well, versus submission, trains thoroughly in jiu-jitsu. He, he's a straight up street fight, straight up thug. If you heard him on my podcast on Play.it, you heard that. And you can hear his past as a youth. This guy was not an angel. He's turned, turned, you know, turned his life around, but he still has an extremely violent streak. Follow? You got me? I got so people can hear you. And got his it. opponent from Denver, Colorado. He is your TNA World Heavyweight Champion, the Destroyer, Lashley. Two-time TNA World Heavyweight Champion, three-time Collegiate National Champion, a 12-2 MMA record, 250 pounds, Lashley. Straight up destroyer, no doubt. Good luck fighting this cat. This fight, street fight, wrestling match, MMA straight up fight. Any way you want to go, this guy can go. He's a hybrid. Is there a facet to Lashley's game that can be exposed by no, MVP? I don't think so. No, I really don't think so. The only thing that I think, and I've been saying this, that MVP has over Lashley is that he, in the MVP, knows Lashley better than anybody because of their history. And I do think that that MVP has this ability to rent space in the brain of the world champion. And I think he can play some head games with him, or mind games. But the mind games end, correct? Once MVP steps foot inside the rank? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, you never know. Right? You never know. A late game huddle there by the BDC. That, uh, I, I know I'm going to interrupt you while you're chatting yourself. Actually, a lot of issues. The outside is, you know, MVP's whole posse's out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that, that's a, that's another big caveat, as some would call it. But Lashley looks ready to go. Lashley looks ready to compete. Lashley wants to defend his DNA World Heavyweight Championship against all comers. We've seen him take on three different wrestlers at one time in a uh, four-way match a few weeks ago. Lashley was successful. Lashley loves to fight. He loves to defend that world heavyweight title. He's not about talking and yapping. He's all business. You don't care if you like him, you don't like him. He'll beat anybody up on the roster. That's his style. You heard the bell ring. It is underway. It is official. In order for MVP to become the TNA World Heavyweight Champion, he either has to pin or make Lashley submit. MVP can't win the championship via disqualification. He can't win it via countout. There you see a, a stalemate. These two just feeling each other out in the early stages of this matchup. For those that didn't realize how big of a man MVP is, look at the size there. You can see the size. MVP misses wildly Lashley. First takedown of the match. Strong clothesline. Definitely dropped MVP. Ooh. Three point stance. Oh. Lashley will go head body, body head. He doesn't matter. He'll take you out. Going after that arm, see that? That might tell you something right there. The game plan of MVP has did that arm right into that kick in the arm, a shot in the arm, Ooh. I should say. Beware of that. You know, you said that there's no downfall to the game of Lashley, so I would love to know what the strategy is wow, look at that. in wow. this match for MVP. Well, to avoid being put upside Ooh. down and driven to your back like that, it might help. <laughs> Delayed but, uh, vertical you know. suplex there, very effective by Lashley. Everything Lashley does is effective. Good man. I'll tell you what, if that kick would have hit, 
Cubs and Lashley, I'm sorry, MVP's base all over that arena over there. MVP looking for a bit of a reprieve here from Lashley. Smart move by the challenger. You talked about MVP loves a good street fight. And See, there you go. We don't need that. We don't need that, dude. That's that low key right in the field. There you go. Get him out of here. Eject them all, Stifler. We're going to world championship match. Don't worry about what a kick. What's going to happen here? This match is for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. MVP, the challenger in red and black. The champion, Lashley, in white. MVP shoots the half into the cover and a kick out by the champion. MVP, another cover. This time hooks the leg and another kick out. MVP is involved in this match is because last week the leader of the BDC, MVP, won a 20-man over-the-top rope gauntlet match, thus becoming number one contender for Lashley's title here tonight. Yeah, and from right before the break, we Ooh. saw that oh, there was a lot of Tom Fullery and shenanigans on the outside. The ref didn't see it, but that straight oh blackout kick in the face we saw earlier. MVP cover here and a Lashley pops for you too. From MVP to Lashley's face throughout the break Lashley has been hurting big time even though the referee has gotten the, the, the uh, BDC sent to the back to the locker room area which is big. You know the BDC are allowed ringside as long as they don't get involved physically. Well, I, it was I, Loki who got yeah, involved. Was, yes, well, thank you. Yes. Cover by MVP that. hooks the leg. Course, a little you, bit of space. You, you got to steal my words, I mean, you know, because you have to do that. Well, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I, I think know, the I entire know. BDC yeah. should be out of here. Well, I, I right, I agree. I said. I meant low-key because I'm wrapped up in this world title match, and I know you'll always correct me, but see, you see, Samoa Joe choking while the ref can't see it, Lashley. Smart, smart work. I mean, you know, the ref, should, like we've been saying it, he should have gotten rid of the other members of the BBC. And you talked earlier about the offense of MVP dictating around the shoulder of yeah. Lashley. You're seeing it more here. He did something very early in the match. Ooh. Yeah. He targeted the arm, and now you see he's really going into that arm. So, does that affect Lash's offense, or does it help MVP's offense? Well, I think if, if MVP can build up some steam on that left arm, of, as you see him going after it, of Lashley, it affects Lashley to do any submission, suplexes. What about the spear? I was going to say the spear, yes, and, and the spear. Now, again, look at this, man. Okay, well now Kenny King and Samoa Joe should be ejected from ringside. Kicked out of the building. Let's have a fair one-on-one -on -one match. I'm not blaming the referee. He's distracted. He's caught up with what's going on inside the ring. I don't blame you for being indignant. You're correct. Oh! MVP again can only win the championship inside the ring. Controls the head, hooks the outside leg, and a kick out there by the world champion. I thought he was going to shoot half Nelson, but it wasn't. No, it wasn't. What a main event. What a night thus far. But out here, yeah. top wrist lock, version of a key lock up high. Again, pinpointing that arm. I talked about the training regiment of MVP in his downtime. He's told me this personally how much he trains in jiu-jitsu and training in submission. So he's got that figure four on that arm. That's a figure four lock, not, not, not the Ric Flair-like figure four leg lock. The grip is a figure four. One of the tightest grips you're going to get on anyone's limb. And MVP has his body in the perfect position here with Lashley. Sure does. Has the, good point. Has the side of the body. He's on a knee. He's got all his weight in, but the power of Lashley able to get to a vertical base and fight out and create some separation. Lashley, back up. That was step one. Oh, what a collision! Two big men. Same thing in mind. Those clotheslines just rock the joint. Both go down. Again, this is for the World Heavyweight Championship. He took out Austin Aries, who was teasing that he might cash in that opportunity for a world title match. Well, the BDC took him out early, so I don't think you'll see Aries anytime soon. Big shots being traded back and forth between Lashley 
an MVP, champion and challenger, vying for the TNA World Heavyweight title. Oh! And yeah, those shots right to the top of the head. And lastly, another powerful clothesline. Back elbow this time. The world champion retain his title here tonight. Yeah, I'll tell you what, the champ. Here he comes. Ooh. Ran right into that back elbow, right? See that? Uh oh, uh oh. Dude, how strong is this guy? Tremendous spine buster. And Lashley trying to retain MVP. Instinct alone kicks out at two. Josh, you know MVP as long as me, man. He's a big dude. Did you see how easy Lashley just jacked him up, snatched him out of. Mid-air and drove him, and now Kenny King uh, grabbing dude, the really? ankle. Enough of this. Oh, yeah, with the straight kick to the face. Nowhere for Lashley to go. Champ's in trouble. Look at these strong style close lines while he's trapped. Collatide into an explosive suplex. Very tough to do on a big man. Hook that Collatide first. Now MVP. Sit in the weight, sit in the weight. Sitting on ready. Went for the blackout kick. Spear! You see that? MVP's head bounced off the head of, of, of referee Stifler. Sure did. Sure did. Ooh, that was nasty. You see that inadvertently the ref. Yes, stop. It's Eric Young. Oh no. Well, he's been aligned with. Oh! He's been aligned with the BDC. The steel chair from Eric Young. The bearded like maniac. Complete violent man himself. He's got the chip. In grave danger. Oh, we saw this last week on Tommy Dreamer. Got to go for that power jump. Oh! And it's Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode going after his arch nemesis. Oh, what a shot. The impact. Lighten up. Eric Young. Bobby Roode and Eric Young. Champion and challenger in the ring. Still got this title on the line here. The champ with that net breaker. You need a ref though, bro. And Stifler's still down. Stifler to wake up. We'll get another referee out here. The world title is still up in the air here. MVP goes up and over, got caught. MVP trying to hold on, but driven into the canvas. Lashley, come on, Stifler, come on. Lashley's going to retain his title here by Hooker, by Crook, and what again? The gotta, BDC. Yeah, gotta think that Lashley was going to retain with that running power slam, and now oh, oh Samoa Joe. Now it's Lashley, and now who's this now? Looks like Gunner. Gunner going after Samoa Joe. Just complete mayhem. Once that ref went down, everything went to hell. Kenny King still, though, still out here. He could fly, too, man. Watch out, Lash. Watch out, Lash. Holy God. Put him in the air. And Lashley is going to get rid of Kenny King. Watch your back. Watch your back. And MVP is going to steal the TNA World Heavyweight the ref, Championship. There's no referee. He's got him beat, though. Stifler was snatched out of the ring. Who's Ryan that? Hebner. Got it. And Lashley kicks out. Almost crowned the new world champ. Hebner, get back to the ring. He's worried about Stifler, the other ref. Oh, we, can, we can worry about Stifler later. The then World Championship is still, still up in the air. This match is still going on. Who's this now? Oh, that, uh oh, it's, it's Galloway. We saw him last week. Drew Galloway. Drew Galloway once again getting involved in BDC business. Wow! Spare by Lashley. Get in there, ref. Get in there. We got him. The champ's gonna retain. Him. Got him. Beat down. Lashley, still world champion. Winner and still your team.
you've heard people say lots of moving parts. <laughs> we just witnessed it. And there's Drew Galloway, extremely instrumental in lastly retaining his title. That was some crazy stuff going on there. We saw Eric Young on behalf of the BDC. We saw Bobby Roode. We saw Gunner. We saw the entire BDC get involved in this match. Drew Galloway has burst out of the scene. He's a game changer for sure. Galloway's picking his spots, Josh, and picking up smart. But at the end of the day, the world heavyweight champion is standing tall. His name is Lashley. He is the destroyer. He also is the world heavyweight champion. Congratulations to Lashley. Back to the drawing board for the BDC. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.